Oi, aqui é o Veste, e semana passada eu fiz um vídeo sobre as vagas de emprego que a Blizzard abriu e a possibilidade de uma versão remasterizada do Diablo 1 ou 2. Esse vídeo era para ter sido a continuação daquele, mas o anúncio da data de lançamento do Necro e o preço dele pegou todo mundo de surpresa, então eu precisei adiar o conteúdo. Hoje eu trago mais uma parte da entrevista do criador do Diablo, David Bradley, para o Hiker, em que ele fala exatamente sobre a possibilidade de um remake, a dificuldade que seria adaptar o estilo 2D para o 3D, e se no final vale realmente a pena fazer tudo isso. Não esqueça de quando acabar o vídeo deixar um like, se inscrever no canal e marcar as notificações e até o próximo. There was a lot of hope for uh, that that at BlizzCon they would have announced a remaster of of Diablo 2. Do you think uh, that'll happen and or that it would be a good idea? Uh, no and no. <laughs> I, I don't think it'll happen. I just I, I mean maybe it will, but I but you know I think Blizzard has hopes of doing all sorts of stuff and redoing one of their games is not really <laughs> high on their list. I think that, uh, uh, and so, uh, you know, I think that the problem with doing remastered stuff is, uh, is you, is oftentimes you can remaster things into higher definition, but a, The, the the assets for Diablo 2 are really ugly. They are, you know, and it's because we were able to, you know, render them at, you know, 50 or 60 pixels or whatever, you know, however big, however high the characters are or whatever, that you don't see the end, you know, the details and the ugliness of the model, you know, <laughs> as the, as the monster's hacking or whatever, you don't see that its arm is just like not even really connected to its shoulder, <laughs> right? You know, it's just like, and so they, they can't just go back and re-render the old assets, right? Mm -hmm. Because the textures were really low res and the, and the, uh, and, and so, They, they can't even just they can't even put the models into the game right you know because so, it, it would just be a, a mess so uh so it, it, it's a it's basically redoing the game which then opens the door as to how are you going to make it okay well we're going to make it are we going to make it 3d because if we're going to make it 3d then it needs to behave exactly mm. like a 2d game or else it's a different game the moment to moment You're walking around the world kind of feeling comes from the fact that we it is all fake. The 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 ground, for instance, is made up of tiles uh, and each tile. I don't remember how big it is, but let's say it's 200 pixels across or something like that. And uh, and like uh, 80 pixels high or 100 pixels high or whatever. So you get the orthographic view and uh, and. Each one of those tiles was broken down into collision that was a five by five grid. So the world was a giant grid, but that is not the case with 3D. In 3D, they end up having just like polygons of world, and then you like you're a circle or something like that in the in these polygons, and you bump against the edge of the the polygons, but you can stand anywhere in that little polygonal, you know, anywhere in that on a like a infinite level on a on a floating point level you can stand anywhere on the inside that polygon and then so monsters pathing around you and and getting in there and things like that is done on a floating point level not on like this crude five by five grid so if you change that five by five grid you will change that the way the game plays and the way that the ai works and the way that everything works it's like going back and making this thing is going to be a, a lot of work and you have to simulate in kind of a weird way. You have to simulate, uh, the, uh, uh, the way that, uh, it's, uh, you know, that it, it was 2d or the way that it was made in order for you to capture the essence of what it was. Plus it's got some antiquated design things. It's like, well, if I, if I had my druthers, I would have taken the stamina bar out. So, Okay, you take the stamina bar. Okay, what things are you going to change about the game, and what things are you not going to change about the game, and where is it too far versus not far enough? And do you put like throwing potions in? Like nobody throws potions, right? So, <laughs> but but that was part of the game, and I just saw somebody that beat 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 the game throwing potions, throwing potions or whatever. Yeah, so they yeah. 
the, uh, so, you know, that, that's kind of fun and funny. And, uh, and so, you know, where do you draw the line? What gets updated? I think the updating process is extremely complicated. Finding the old assets, you have to make new assets to actually match the old assets and things like that. I mean, I think it, it is a project that is that is unbelievably difficult and uh, and really is like ba- making a whole new game. And if they're going to do that, they're just going to make a whole new game. Yeah, I, I felt much the same way. Uh, someone actually in StarCraft, I don't know if you're aware, in, uh, just one guy on his free time, it took years of, of modding in the StarCraft 2 editor, remade some of Diablo 2, and it's it's a commendable effort, and some people enjoyed it, but I tried it out, and it, it does not feel the same. And, and I think yeah. what you described about the grid and all that, it's... And yeah. I feel if, if they're going to remaster it, like, I feel if Blizzard's going to remaster Diablo 2, it's to make the Diablo 2 fans happy. But if it's not going to feel the same, then they're, they're not going to be happy. So right. it's it's kind of a, a damn It's a do. difficult task, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Not just that, it's like there were so many things like that I'm thinking of that like the game frame rate, the simulation rate was like, I think, 20 frames a second or something like that. Uh, the game, the re- It rendered as fast as it could possibly render. But the actual simulation rate, I think, was like 20 frames a second. If you change that, you know, you change in a lot of modern games, they 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 try for 60. And so, like, you know, that would be a it would feel weird and kind of a little bit clunky because it would be moving at weird rates and stuff. And uh, and, uh, you know, you would get into, uh, oh, the attacks, the animation speed rendered how fast you were attacking and things like that. It was like it had to do with your anim- the number of sprites in your animation and like, you know, at what point was the hit frame and how fast are you playing that flipping through those sprite animations? That's a very different philosophy than actually interpolating uh, you know these 3D points and how you smoothly animate something these days with a 3D model is is night and day different than the way that you did it through just flipping through sprites and so like all of these kind of things will have big impact on the gameplay and it just it would be very difficult to simulate that exactly <laughs> <laughs>